All praises to Yahweh Basham Yahashai, Basham Rachakwadas. Yahweh's name, the Heavenly Father, it means He is. Yahweh Shai is the name of His Son, it means He is who saves. Rachakwadas is the name of the Holy Spirit in Hebrew. This is a reading from Ecclesiasticus, or Sirach, 25. Before that, it's the 31st of December, um, 2021. It don't mean shit to me personally, but um, in terms of celebrations, um, but it is useful to review at this time where we are, how far we've come and where we've got to go to. And even when you're losing even when it feels that you've lost everything, you start to really realise that you've won and you've got everything to gain and you've got more coming to you. In three things I was beautified and stood out before God and men, the unity of brethren, the love of brothers, and a man and a wife that agree together. Three things of my soul, three sorts of men my soul hateth and I'm greatly offended at their life. A poor man that is proud, <coughs> a rich man that is a liar, and an old adulterer that doteth. If thou hast gathered nothing in thy youth, how canst thou, thou find anything in thine age? Oh, how comely is a thing! Oh, how comely a thing is judgment for grey hairs and ancient men to know counsel. Oh, how comely is the wisdom of old men and understanding. So it's a good look. When they say comely, it means it's a good look. Oh, how comely is the wisdom of old men and understanding and counsel to men of honour. Much experience is a crown of old men and the fear of God is their glory. That is to be... So it's interesting because they say... <coughs> Excuse me. If you haven't gathered anything in thy, thy youth, how can you find anything in age? And one would think that they were talking about houses, cars, career. But then they talk, then he goes on to talk about what the crowns are of age, what, what are the um, things that you should be gathering in the youth that you can rely on in age, that are things of merit, things to show off um, with status symbols, if you like. How comely a thing is judgment for grey hair, so to know, to judge wisely, and for ancient men to know counsel. Or how come so to either to know counsel is to listen to counsel, to understand, and also to know how to counsel. <coughs> how comely is the wisdom of old men, and understanding the counsel to men of honour, knowing that wisdom comes from the fear of the Lord. And understanding through the spirit. So to gain the spirit, to gain the gift of the spirit, and to have fear of the Lord. That is the things that you should be gathering. Much experience is a crown of old man, and fear of the Lord is their glory. There we go. Again. Verse 7, there be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy, and the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that hath joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. And I have seen that um, tonight on December the 31st, 2021, I'm with my children, and it's we are away from everybody and everything, and it's beautiful. And we're having fun, we're laughing, and all these other things aren't important. And I've also seen the beginning of the crumbling of the people that have started to that were oppressing me. And I'm sure it's going to continue. I'm going to check back in 2022 because 
if I manage to stay with the Lord, I can't see, I can see that house, all of the houses coming down, um, not by my doing. I won't lift a finger, and neither would I laugh or mock. There's another verse I want to get. This is Revelation 2 and 9. I know the works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And that's to say that no matter what you're going through, the Lord is aware of what you're going through. But never forget how rich you are, because riches aren't about money or about true riches aren't about money aren't about gold, wealth, cars houses, women but the things that really make people happy the crown of an old man is wisdom counsel experience fear of the Lord understanding These things are to be gathered while you're young. And the joy of an old man is through these things, having the spirit, having wisdom, keeping your eye on the Lord, having delight in your children, and seeing the destruction of your enemies. With that, I'd like to say shalom.